Gardaí arrested 13 people yesterday evening after intervening in protests outside government buildings during which TDs were harassed and jostled. Uh, speaking to Kieran Cuddy on the hard shoulder yesterday, independent TD Michael Healy Ray spoke about his experience with the protesters. Don't mind me now for a second, but I'm going to tell you about something that happened during that, we'll call it, uh, Millie. There was a young lady with me, and today was her first day here. She's an official intern from the US. She's here to learn about Irish politics. That young girl, so forget about me now for a minute, and forget about everybody, but think about that young girl. She's a student. She's here to learn about politics. She was shoved. She was pushed. And all I'll say to you about this is when that started, she had her mobile phone firmly inside in her pocket. And when that altercation finished, her mobile phone was gone. So that's her experience of her first day here in Dali. And that is shocking. Michael Healy Ray speaking to Kieran on the hard shoulder yesterday. Let's go to Ivana Bacic now, Labour Party leader. Ivana, your reaction to yesterday's events? Uh, well, good morning, Shane. Thank morning. you for inviting me on. And yesterday's events were really dreadful. I mean, they were profoundly anti-democratic, in fact. And I would defend the right to protest. I've protested myself outside Leinster House. And I think it's very important that people would have a right to protest, a right to freedom of assembly outside our parliament, of course. But what we saw yesterday was profoundly anti-democratic. Uh, the individuals involved, and there were a relatively small number, engaged in violent and threatening tactics. They blocked and obstructed uh, members of, of the Oireachtas and, and staff and visitors from entering Leinster House. And they prevented other protests, other you know peaceful uh, demonstrations from going ahead. I know of at least two other planned political events that had to be cancelled because of the, the risk to safety. And, uh, and it's really unacceptable, I think, to see this sort of obstruction. I should say, Shane, that the Cown, I support the Cown Coyle's call for review of security arrangements at Leinster House. And indeed, I'm a member of the task force on safe participation in political life that the Karen Corla pulled together. And indeed, I first raised this in the Dáil because of concerns about safety of individual uh, public representatives and their staff uh, and because of concerns about, uh, you know, threatening and, and intimidating behaviour that, that is going on both online and also, as we saw yesterday, uh, in person. What has changed? Because, I mean, I, look, I was... a political correspondent all Aaron for I don't know 15 years or something um, I don't ever remember seeing scenes like that in that time so what has changed since then do you think? Well, over the years, certainly there have been protests that have been that have spilled over from being peaceful democratic protests to being sort of obstructive, threatening, intimidating uh, events that we saw yesterday. Uh, but I think what's what's particularly uh, different now is the fact that. That you know, and, and again, it is in particular yesterday. Far right groups can spread a message of hate. They can spread disinformation online, and indeed, one of the focuses of our task force is to look at how we can, uh, how we can, I suppose, require uh, social media platforms to promote civility of discourse, promote uh, to ensure that they're not being used to spread lies, to spread hate, that they're not being used, for example, to stoke up racism. We've seen some really, uh, really uh, concerning aspects of that around, again, around far-right protests in recent in recent months in Ireland. So I think it is of concern that small numbers can use uh, social media platforms in this way and I think it is, it is important that we would call on Meta and Twitter and all the other platforms to uh, take much more uh, um, proactive steps to prevent this happening and indeed to take down disinformation. We've had in Labour some of our councillors who've been uh, targeted in particular by the far right, our councillors who are simply standing up in their own communities for uh, to provide a welcome to those who come yeah. here seeking refuge, who've been organising groups to, to welcome individuals. But targeting from the far left have... as well, some would say. It's not confined entirely to the far right. Well, I think this, there's uh, yesterday what we saw was undoubtedly uh, uh, far right. Yeah, um, no, sorry, I wasn't suggesting the, otherwise, the, but I, I'm just saying yeah, there are extremes I mean, on both sides. Well, I, I think if I may say, Shane, that, you, know, you know, there is a particular issue at present about far-right protests. As we've seen uh, staff in, in public libraries being barracked, being obstructed, being intimidated. Again, one of our Labour members talking to me about 
a very frightening experience at, a, at, Cork, at Cork Library and at other libraries around the country where, again, we're seeing a small number of, of people in, attempting to intimidate and prevent access to public spaces and civic spaces. Yeah, that is unacceptable. a particular feature. Of what, what needs to happen at Leinster House just finally? Well, we need to, first of all, we need a review of how we can ensure safe entry and, ex- and uh, exit from the, prem- from the building. This is a, a complex where many people work, uh, you know, quite apart from public representatives, there's a large number of, pe- of, of people who are working as political and as civil service staff, and they need to have safe access and entry too. So we need to ensure that if people... Uh, that, that protests are not uh, a, a way of, of interfering with workers' rights and to, to have safe access and entry to their workplace. I think that's our first priority. And then also we want to make sure that policing is carried out in such a way that does enable people to protest and to ha- you know to have peaceful protests outside Parliament. That's hugely important Absolutely. in any democracy. Okay. But 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 it's access and 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 exit to workplace that I think is a crucial issue here. Okay, Ivana Bacic, Labour Party leader. Thank you for talking to News Talk Breakfast. Kira, they were pretty. There were ugly, nasty scenes yesterday. I was appalled, and I think probably most right-minded people were, to see public representatives who we have voted for, who have a mandate by the, you know, of the people, by the people, for the people, up on gallows. And it was all sides of the house. There was Leo Varadkar up there. There was Paul Murphy up there. There was um, Mary Lou Macdonald up there. It was a splatter gun approach, it would seem, uh, who they were attacking. And and it was grim. It was dreadful. And, and I... I don't know exactly why we've moved in this direction. The first time I remember seeing protests that I was galled by was Jobstown and that wasn't the far right. But 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 this looks like it was. And, and it is wrong because democracy is important. It is not perfect. It has its flaws. But yeah. without it, we have very little other than anarchy and dictatorships. And, 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 and let's call it for what it, it, let's awful. call it for what it was. Tuggery. That's what we're yeah, talking about. Utter we're talking, tug, tuggery. Yeah. And, and frightening. And and. Uh, I I don't know I I like I I was looking at it and I was I was angry and I was appalled. What about you? Uh, I, I look I echo what you had to say. Uh, people asking in text what they were protesting at. It it seemed to have been uh, a variety of issues: yeah. anti-vaccine, uh, anti-immigration, uh, transgender rights, sex education, schools, hate speech laws, lots and lots of issues. And and look, you're entitled to hold whatever views you want, but you're not entitled to intimidate people and frighten people uh, and break the law. And that's what happened. Uh, That's what happened yesterday. In a former life, I have protested outside the door because when I was in the health service... Peaceful protest, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. And and sanctioned and and none of this. It was was very peaceful. But I've spoken outside the door about things, as I say, in a previous life. I do wonder though, Shane... On some level, the, the, the social media element of this, and I don't mean the organising of it no. through social media, I mean the, the anger generated the, the, on social to media. To drain the swamp of all these corrupt yeah. uh, and uh, yeah, uh, the conspiracy theories that, that are uh, driven by social media. There, there's something interesting in it, though, because as someone who came to media laterally uh, and, and had consumed a lot of media and news and things online, I I did notice when I came into mainstream media, as it's sometimes referred to, that there are different conversations occurring online and social media and in the mainstream media. And I think some people view those that that fact, and some of the, that that is because some of those conversations online are crackpot, etc. But but some of those people view that as a form of censorship, and they view that as as a way uh, of distrusting mainstream media and that's why there's the rise of the Joe Rogan that's why there's the rise of the Russell brand um, I don't know how to address that exactly because you don't want to have a race to the bottom in mainstream media either but but I don't know do we need to broaden our horizons or what we need to do personally I, I don't know what do you think about that? I'm I'm wary I'm wary I have to say I, I, I think we in the media have to stick to what we do uh, and I don't think I, I I know the point you're making, yeah. but I think there's a real I'm, danger. I'm not advocating, by the way. For, no, I know for you're the, not. You yeah, know no, I, mean? I, I understand the point you're making, but just I mean, do you then start giving platform to to crazy ideas? I I I'm not sure. I, I I really don't know. But let's look. Let's throw it out there to people. What did you make of what happened yesterday? What do you make of that kind of politics of protest and aggressive protest that is taking place?